afternoon, I'm Maribel, Features Editor for the Kerrville Daily Times newspaper, and we are here at Kerrville Hills Winery thanks to Carol and Wayne Milberger. I'm Beth Elderkin, staff reporter, and today we're showing you how to purchase a great bottle of wine. I don't know about you, but I know I have troubles walking up and down the aisle not knowing exactly what to choose. You know, I've definitely been in the same boat myself, but you don't want to select a bottle you've had a dozen times before just because you know it's a good one. So here are a couple tips on how to find that perfect bottle of wine. Number one, the variety. Now, with most New World wines, which are pretty much anything that isn't grown in Europe, the variety is going to be the type of grape, such as a Chardonnay, a Pinot Noir, or a Cabernet. You want to make sure the grapes suit your taste. For example, I prefer sweeter wines, so I go for a Moscato or a light red like Pinot. But then again, you don't want to be afraid to branch out a little bit. If you're a fan of Chardonnay, you can try a Vignet. Or, you know, if you're a fan of traditional cabs, you can always go with my personal favorite, a Zinfandel. Really? It may be a little bit spicier, but it goes great with barbecue. Number two, the region. This is where the grapes are grown, but that doesn't mean this is where the winery is located. In fact, the Kerrville Hills Winery imports its grapes from other vineyards. You're going to want to keep an eye out for how broad or narrow that region is. If the bottle says it comes from a state or a country, for example, Texas or Argentina, that means those grapes technically could come from any part of that area. That's a lot of space with different temperatures, soil conditions, and other natural factors which could lead to an inconsistent wine. Your best bet is to find something from a county or smaller region. A state bottle means the winery has its own vineyard. It's a great choice but costs a little more. Number three, the vintage. This is the year the wine was produced. Now, a lot of people usually say the older the better when it comes to wine, but that really isn't always true. In fact, some wines are just as good, if not a little bit better, when they're younger. Number four, alcohol level. Now, don't you want a lot of alcohol in your wine? No, you really don't. In fact, the higher percentage of alcohol there is in a wine, the higher a chance you have of detecting it, which usually is going to taste a little bit bitter and quite a bit distracting. Unless it's a dessert wine like a port, you want to make sure that the alcohol level is below 15%. But there is an exception to every rule. Now, there are plenty of other factors you can look into when you're buying a bottle of wine, particularly if it's something you plan on keeping for a really long time. For example, the name of the wine producer, or when it was fermented, barreled, and aged. But, you know, those are things that you can look along further down the road, and these four tips will definitely help you get started. And thanks again for joining Beth and I with the Kerrville Day Times newspaper, and to Carol Wayne for hosting this wine tasting. Cheers! Cheers! Cheers.